Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, abbreviated RMSF. And Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is a medical condition that is caused by a gram-negative bacteria. And this bacteria has a special name. The name is Rickettsia rickettsi. And this bacteria is transmitted to a human via a vector known as the ixodid tick. And this tick is very important because it's found in wooded areas. And I'll show you a picture of the tick. Here is that ixodid tick. And this is the vector that transmits the bacteria to the patient. Now a little bit of epidemiology about Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. It's really just limited to the Western Hemisphere. Most of the cases are usually involving younger patients, less than 15 years of age. And as previously mentioned, the tick that causes this is found in wooded areas, so oftentimes the clinical scenario is somebody that went hunting. And there's certain states in the United States, for example, that they tend to mention in clinical vignettes. They will mention North Carolina, South Carolina, and also they sometimes mention Oklahoma. So just keep those uh, states in mind and keep in mind that this is really a medical condition that tends to occur when people go out into these wooded areas. That will help you in the clinical vignettes that you encounter on licensing exams. So a little bit about the pathophysiology of this condition. What effect does it have in the body? Is that the small blood vessels are affected. And how so? They're blocked by thrombi. And the clinical picture is that of a vasculitis. So now let's talk a little bit about the symptoms. As the name of the condition implies, of course, you'll have fever. The patient will also present with a severe headache, chills, muscle pain. But the most characteristic uh, symptom or physical exam finding, rather, is a rash that is maculopapular in nature. And it's found on the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. And that's characteristic because there's not too many rashes that are found on those two locations. And appears kind of like a petechiae. And I'll show you a photo. Here's a photo of a patient with Rocky Mountain spotted fever. And here's that classic rash on the feet and on the hands. Diagnosis. Most of the cases of Rocky Mountain spotted fever are really just diagnosed with a history of a tick contact, also a story of how they went into a wooded area for some reason, maybe they were hunting, and then just the symptoms and the rash. Most of the time, any test is not really required, but you can do a biopsy of the rash if you want to detect the organisms. And the treatment of this is a antibiotic known as doxycycline. And that's it. And the only other thing I wanted to mention quickly is prevention. If someone is going out into the wooded areas in a region that this is common, then they can use something known as a skin repellent, and it's called DEET. And the chemical name is diethyltoluamide. OK, so now let's talk about some scenarios. Five days after returning to his military base in South Carolina, after survival training in the nearby countryside, an 18-year-old recruit reports to the infirmary complaining of headache. Physical exam reveals a fever, but no other abnormalities are noted. 
A few days later, he returns to the infirmary with a maculopapular rash involving the hands and feet. The rash then spreads centripetally to involve the trunk. Which of the following diseases should be suspected? This vignette gives you some clues, the geography, the rash, and um, in particular the location of the rash. Not a lot of clues, but enough clues that you can probably deduce that it is indeed Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. 19-year-old man, born and brought up in Brooklyn, New York, visited his grandfather who lives in western North Carolina. His grandfather, wanting to give him a taste of the life of his ancestors, took him hunting. Following week after his return to Brooklyn, he presents with fever, lethargy, headache, abdominal pain. Petechial lesions are noted on the palms of the hands and soles of the feet, which of the following is the arthropod vector most likely responsible for this disease. Well, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is spread with a vector known as a tick, and that would be choice E. And finally, a 55-year-old man was hunting with his dog in western North Carolina during late July. After the hunt, he spent some time digging ticks out from the, his dog's fur. A week later, he developed a severe headache, muscle pain, and loss of appetite. He then started to feel nausea with vomiting. He felt so badly, he made an appointment to see his primary care physician. By the time his doctor saw him four days later, he had developed joint pain, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and a rash. The rash appeared as a small, flat, non-itchy areas on his wrists, forearms, and ankles. The rash then spread to the palms of his hands and inward toward his trunk. Which infectious agent is most likely responsible for the symptoms described in this patient? As previously mentioned, the name of the bacteria that causes this is Rickettsia rickettsii, which would be choice D.